This is Matty Lewis of Soccer Swap Light with uh, Nana Tomasi here today, the Yeovil Town. Yeah. Nana, thank you for your time. No problem. Uh, how long have you been at Yeovil now? About this is my second season. Second now. season, yeah? yeah? How are you finding it, right? Yeah, it's good. Uh, obviously, when I first joined, we were in the championship. Right. Um, and it was a good experience for me because I was, before that, I was out for almost two years with um, um, ACL injury. So my first step was to come back into the championship, managed to play a few games, which was a good experience. And unfortunately, it wasn't good enough to stay in the championship. Yeah, right. And now we're in League One. So it's been a good experience yeah. so far. You've been playing a lot, haven't you? You've been starting, which is obviously good for any, any, any player wants that wants to play games, right? Yeah, definitely. You know, it's always good to play. When you're playing, you're happy. And when right. you're not playing, obviously, you're sad. But for me, this season, yeah. I've played um, a lot of games, which I'm happy about. And uh, um, from where I was two years ago, right. thinking I, was, I wasn't able to play football again. Yeah. Um, then coming back in and playing, it's always good to play. And I'm happy and I'm grateful to God for, obviously, um, the chance to keep on playing. That's awesome, man. And um, you've got a big game tomorrow against Crawley. Yeah. Obviously, your teams are struggling at the moment, near the bottom. Yeah. Well, at the bottom, but it's quite tight, isn't it? There's a lot of teams in it. Yeah, there's, there's only four points in it um, um, from us um, to be safe. And obviously Crawley are down there with us along with Crew, which we've got on Tuesday. So it's a six-pointer really. Um, both teams are struggling and um, it should be a good game. Hopefully we can go and get the three points that we need. Right, and obviously you're at home tomorrow. It's tomorrow against Crawley at yeah. Heroes Park. So that, that's a help, isn't it? Obviously yeah, home, home support. Yeah, definitely. You know, It's always good to play at home. Um, our home support is a class as a 12th man. And hopefully, you know, we can go and pick up the points for them and ourselves as well. Right. A uh, bit different to Crawley. About a month ago, there's a Man United that was at Heroes Park, right? Yeah, definitely. You yeah. Know, uh, FA Cup third round. Yeah. Um, it was good to test yourself against some of the yeah. best players in the world. And uh, I thought we'd done ourselves justice for about an hour and a bit. Yeah. And obviously, their quality took them um, control in it. And then they scored the two yeah. goals that they needed to win the game. How was, how was it? Because you played the whole game. You were up against... Uh, Di Maria and uh, Rooney. Yeah, I played, uh, played against Rooney and yeah. Di Maria who came on in the second half. And uh, it was a good, obviously, yeah. it was something different where um, their movement, their um, composure on the ball, everything was spot on. And the, the way they, they applied themselves to the game um, was good to see, like proper professionals, you know. They didn't come here and thinking that we're going to be easy rolled over. And they put, um, they put it there working. And obviously they got the win. Um, and to test yourself against some of the best right, yeah. um, was unbelievable and I fully enjoyed the day. Awesome. And uh you mentioned Di Maria there. I think to the side of you they've got Di Maria's show. Yeah, Is you know, it? I yeah? had to um Oh at look at that, game, shout out to the camera, that's I, awesome. At, at the end of the game, you know, I had to um, ask for the shirt and uh luckily enough he, he gave it to yeah. me. So it's something that's just gonna be framed and kept in my household forever. Awesome. Have you washed it? You haven't yeah. washed you have washed <laughs> it, uh, it smelt yeah. a bit, did it? Nah, I couldn't I couldn't <laughs> frame it with you <laughs> know or yeah. sweaty and that, so yeah. I had to wash it. Did he take yours? He wanted to take mine, yeah. but I wanted to keep it. So I, oh, said really? to him, <laughs> so I said to him, you know, we're not allowed to swap because obviously it was like a specialised shirt um, with uh, with embroidered your versus my United in it. Right. So um, I wanted to keep that for myself uh, right. and frame it. So um, I said, we're not allowed to swap. So I did, just, he understand, did he understand what you meant? He understood. Yeah. He understood, yeah. He okay. understood yeah. So I think uh, they've got it on camera, to be fair. Right. But, um, you know, like of him asking for my shirt and going right. like that, and yeah. I was like, you know, we it can. I, can't, yeah. I, can't, I can't give it to you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, that's great. But um, we talked about obviously playing against Di Maria, Rooney. Obviously, David De Gea was in goal. Yeah, but you're you're no stranger to playing against you know top top quality players and playing with because you yeah. you were at Chelsea for, for I think you were eight. Is yeah. that right? No, I was at, I was at Chelsea. When I was twelve. So you were twelve. Was eight years. For eight years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I've I've trained with some of the best. Um, yeah. Who like names and names? Who have you trained with? Uh, Lampard, John yeah. Terry, Andelka, Drogba, Balak, Carvalho, Galas, mm. you know, Deco, um, who was unbelievable really? training, by the way. Um, so I've trained with some of the best. And obviously, in our age group as well, Chelsea were buying players from all over the world. Right. We were also one of the best in the, at, their, at that in their country yeah. at that age. So, you know, um, I did train with some of the best. and. It was always a good experience to test yourself against some of them, them oh, guys. That's awesome. So you, you were professional there for three three years? Yeah. Three uh, years professional I signed, contract? I signed pro when I was 17. Mm -hmm. And obviously I was there till I was 20. So, um, right. you know, uh, it was a good experience. Yeah. That, must, yeah, that must have been great for you personally, even your development now as a footballer. Yeah, yeah. You know, wherever, wherever you go, 
from from Chelsea, you always learn things from those sort of players. You know, um, it's it's always like it's done me justice. Obviously, to play to be there for so long as well it doesn't say that I was rubbish or anything. Right, you know, I see. Yeah, it wasn't like I a had, quick had, thing. Had, yeah, yeah, I had had something, um, um, which obviously they liked. That's why they kept me there since I was twelve. So um, obviously, when you get to certain stage, you need to go out there and play. And right. when I hit twenty, I went on loan to Dagenham, which I done well there. I come back and I was in the squad um, against Stoke in the FA Cup. And then once you get a taste of the men's football, you want to obviously go and play more. And when my contract ran out and they wasn't going to renew it, obviously um, I had to go out and go and play. So I joined Peterborough. Right. No. Yeah. So, and also while you are at Chelsea, while you were professional there, mm-hmm. the manager was Jose Mourinho? Yes. He, yeah. was, uh, he was our manager. He joined 2003 um, right. and obviously he left in 2007. So um, he was my manager for about four years. Yeah. So what was uh, what was he like? What's the man like? Everyone, everyone's uh, got a lot to say about him. But what is he like? Obviously, if if you don't know him personally, yeah. you think that he's uh, arrogant. He's, yeah, right. Like you see what you yeah. you see what you saw in like, in the, in the media. And, uh, but deep down, I say he's a very clever man. Like very tactical. He knows exactly what he wants from his team, and he you know like he loves to get the media attention onto himself. So he take the pressure off the team. Right. The team can focus on the game. So he's yeah. just. His mind game is spot on, basically. Right. He's a top, top class manager. Awesome. Are you still in touch with anyone at Chelsea? Anyone that you were with in the youth team? When, when um, you were obviously, those that I played with, um, yep. only like most of them are gone now. Right. Um, but I still speak to like Victor Moses, who's one oh, of my yeah? friends. Right. Um, he's there, he's on loan. I still, yeah. um, I still speak to him there. And also some of the medical staff who helped me when I was injured. Right. So I'm still in touch with them. But along with all the boys that I played with, none of them yeah. are there no more. Right, okay. And you've also represented England? Yes. Is why you're at Chelsea? Yeah. In under-17s? Yeah, played um, from under-16 under to under-20s, really. Right. Then went to um, European Championship, along with Tristan. Um, right, yeah. He was in our last interview, yeah, by the way, uh, for those uh, who haven't seen. Under-17s World Cup and uh, re- uh, 2009 under-20s World Cup in Egypt. Right. Which Ghana won. Mm. So. Yeah. Oh, Ghana is your country of your birth? Yeah. Right, so next question. That leads nicely to my next question. Obviously, you've played uh, highest level for England under twenties. Yeah. Never played any level for Ghana. Yeah. You're still you're still young. You still got a lot of your best years ahead of you, no doubt. Yeah. If a call was to come from England and Ghana, who would you choose? I think I would choose Ghana. Really? Um, yeah, I'll choose. Obviously, I was privileged to play for um, England from the younger age groups. Right. But um, uh, I will be obviously proud to put on the Ghana shirt and um, sing the national anthem and represent my country because right. since obviously I was playing for England I've started going I went to Ghana and every time I go there obviously I grow right. more and more and more into um, wanting yeah. to play for them. So your heritage right so, yeah, yeah. yeah so obviously it's a place where my parents and I was born there but I came here when I was 10 so um, it will be very privileged to represent yeah. Ghana Do you watch Ghana a lot? Have you been watching that? Yeah I watched, I watched them yeah. in Africa Cup of Nation yesterday um, which they won 3-0 yeah. so I was buzzing about that and then yeah. the final against Ivory Coast Yes, yeah, so that'd be a good game, huh? Yeah, massive. Your old team, yeah. West, West London countries. Um, yeah. So, um, West, sorry, West, <laughs> West Africa countries. Yeah. Um, so it should be a good um, rival between them and the game should be excellent. As you know, Africa has got a strong team. So right, yeah. Interesting, yeah. Cool, awesome. Um, quick question, a few questions before, before we wrap up. Who's the best player you've ever played with? <sighs> best player I've ever played yeah. with? Oh my God. There's quite a few. Um, for England, I would say Victor Moses. Really, he that's was, he was when he was younger. Yeah. Well, even now, he he was. Um, it's funny you say that, huh? Because we um, interviewed Tristan, Tristan Plummer, former former teammate in England and seventeen. He said exactly the same. He was yeah. The stuff that he he does. Yeah. Uh, when he was at uh, training it's and also in exactly games, what Tristan said. Yeah. Just, like, skillful, huh? That's what Tristan skillful. said. Yeah. Um, she's he was just unplayable. Yeah. If he's if he's up for it, he will right. rip anybody. Yeah. Uh, he was just literally when one v ones anything yeah. like he would just. Basically, he carried us yeah, a lot. Really? <laughs> um, we went to the semi final against Germany and the World Cup, and no, sorry, a quarter final. Yeah. And he was injured for that. Right, game. really? We, like, we missed him so much. But if he was fit, I reckon he would have carried us through that. Really? Yeah. That's funny because, like I said, Tristan said that as well. And uh, had a bit of a tough time at Chelsea, right? Before, yeah, um, before you he know, left. Like, obviously, he came in. Um, yeah. he, done, he done well. Because you, they won the Euro. Change of manager, yeah, and they, yeah. they won the UEFA Cup. Um, which he played yeah. in, in, in them games 
then obviously change your managers come uh, you manage new managers come in now different ideas and you know mm. he has to get out go out on loan but hopefully next season yeah, he can right. uh, get opportunities he's been getting time at Stoke because if, so, yeah. if he if he keep on doing what he's doing at Chel um, Stoke mm. I'm sure Marino give him a chance right. at Chelsea yeah. and uh, you know you'll be able to show what he's about because I believe that he he's got it to yeah. he's got it in him to play for Chelsea right. and also obviously Gil Kakuta. Was Kakuta, the, right, yeah. Gil was one of the other players, like, really? best players I've played with. Natural, gifted talent. Mm -hmm. Dribbling, vision, passing, everything. He had everything mm -hmm. about him. You know, he's just fortunate. Another one that, obviously, he didn't really got given a chance. Yeah, that's true. Um, so he had to get out on loan. Seems to be a lot of that at Chelsea, though, right? It's difficult. I guess it's difficult, it's, like yourself. You it's, know, it's, it's, yeah. it's hard when a youngster coming through yeah. because, obviously, Chelsea is one of the biggest clubs in the right. world now. And they can go out and sign so many players. So you're com you're not only competing against um, you guys or among ourselves. You're competing against the best of the world. Right. So it's it's always going to be tough for youngsters coming through. But now we're seeing a few of the youngsters been given a taste of it, mm -hmm. which is good to see. Whereas around my time, it was like hard. Mm -hmm. There was not many getting the opportunity. Right. But hopefully now it's changes for the boys yeah. and uh, they can go and and. Burn and Bring somebody yeah. through like John Terry That's it. and Nicole yeah. Colden and, and uh, Jordan Morris and the rest. Awesome. So. Okay, so the best player you've played against? <sighs> wow. <laughs> um, you go, Bojan got to be up there. Um, yep. Same as Tristan. Tristan said that as well. Bojan got it because he, we play against Spain in the uh, yeah. under 17s um, European Championship final. Right. And his movement, it was unbelievable. He saw, he's not the biggest. Right. So he will not come into the headers with yeah. him, but the way how he will pick up space and also like where he, he knows where the space is to go and pick up and where to stand, where you will know you're able to pick him up, is he was just he was very smart because he was playing up top by himself. Okay. But he was never stood in between the two centre halves. So what they did was this the the wing the full, um, the wingers spread out wide, mm -hmm. stay at touch line, and then as a fullback. You can't. You don't know. Bojan is mm -hmm. standing between you and the right side centre centre back, so you don't know whether to pick him up. And if you pick him up, you come inside. You switch the ball to the wingers. So the Spanish, the Spanish team was very yeah. smart doing that. And Bojan played a major part in the way he scored the winning yeah. goal in that in, uh, in that game. So Bojan was yeah. one of them. <laughs> and then Fran Merida as well. Arsenal was also um, oh, a player yeah. who and Camacho. The Spain, Spanish Spain had yeah, a very good well. and also France, Mohamed Sacco, um, Henry Save it, yeah, the kid who's at Bordeaux, and he was a he was a winner. Really? So as a fullback, me and him has had a few battles, yeah. and he's gave me a tour of time before. <laughs> I've also like taken him in the other way and gave him a tour of time, but yeah, it was good. It was good. Like them guys there. Yeah, I thought obviously Bojan has gone on and played for Barcelona. Right. Sacco is now at Liverpool, mm. and then. And we save it as the one that I thought maybe his name should have come up mm -hmm. and it should have, but like, that hasn't been the case. So um, I'm sure he's probably working his way up as well. Cool. And uh, what's the best bit of advice you've been given, either by a, a coach or family members or friends? or Just just enjoy. Enjoy yourself, yeah. really, because obviously um, you got, you got to go to work knowing that this is, this is what you want to do. And... You just gotta put every smile into it and put and work as as hard as you can, and then if it's if it's a will for you to get forward, then obviously you get there. But if you go to the pitch and you give yourself hundred percent every day, you can go home happy knowing that you've given everything you can, and those that are watching will be able to see that you're giving everything. So that's what coaches right, are always yeah. telling me: just give everything that you got, yeah. and then the rest of the world will take notice. Right. Basically, I think that's a bit of sound bit of advice there. Yeah. No, no, thank you very much. Good luck for tomorrow. Thank you very Cheers. much. Cheers.